So I've got to adjust the mic for our next speaker. Uh, Leo Bird from MIT Center for Future Civic Media is going to talk about VoIP Drupal. So it's calling your Drupal. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Today I'm going to talk about VoIP Drupal, an internet telephony platform that we've been developing for this past couple of years that we finally released this past week, a few days ago. So that you know, I am a researcher with the MIT Center for Future Civic Media, an organization that builds technologies that empower local communities in different parts of the world. In my personal research, I'm interested in design of tools to empower children and grassroots organizations in very underserved communities, just like the one in the picture. And one of the interesting things that we learn in this kind of work is how practically useless the web is in communities like this one. And, and that's for a number of reasons. The first, is that the majority of the population does not have smartphones and actually has to walk in order to have access to computers and the internet. The second reason is that many people are not literate enough or do not have the technical skills that are required in order for them to use computers in an effective way. And third, and that's something that affects even the more tech-savvy users, is that there is a, a tremendous lack of local content available on the web. Right? So even if you have the technical skills, you're going to have a very hard time trying to find information about other people, places, or events that are happening in, in your community. In this sense, if our goal is to use the internet to foster uh, civic empowerment, perhaps it's now time for us to, to start seeing the web with very different eyes. As Tim Berners-Lee, the, the creator of the web, and his colleagues uh, say, why is it that we have to wait until everyone has access to broadband and computers? Or why is it that you have to wait until everybody is literate enough in order to benefit from the information that might already be available on the web, right? So uh, perhaps the, the future of the web lies on, on the development of VoIP-enabled applications, voice-enabled applications that you know, might, can, could be even accessible from, from regular phones, right? Applications that people wouldn't necessarily have to would require people to have access to computers or the internet in order to benefit from them, right? And that's precisely what we're trying to do with VoIP Drupal. VoIP Drupal brings the power of voice and internet telephony to Drupal sites. With VoIP Drupal, users can access and contribute Drupal content even from a regular phone. Right? People do not need to have access to computers or the internet in order to participate in the digital world. Technically speaking, VoIP Drupal is composed of a series of modules, right? a series of Drupal modules. And they, these modules, they enable the creation of hybrid applications Right? They can make phone calls, can make like call blasts to thousands of people at the same time, right? can uh, record stories, and, and they also integrate with Drupal in, in a variety of ways, right? through the usual methods. And, and, and another good thing is that VoIP Drupal defines a common interface, like a common API, that make it easy for, for users to switch from one internet telephony provider to another without affecting the existing code. VoIP Drupal also provides uh, a scripting engine that makes it easy for people to build like interactive phone calls or IVRs, like these interactive menus that you're all used to. Right? So if you look here at this slide, you see like some of the, the basic commands that, that are provided by VoIP Drupal. Right? And they include commands that allow uh, you to record audio from the telephone, that get uh, input from the telephone keypad, that enable users to organize conference calls, to redirect calls to a different phone number, right, and, and much more. And basically, you can rearrange and recombine these commands in any way that you want in order to build different kinds of, of voice-enabled applications, right? So, um, and, and here you can see one example of such applications. In this script, the user uh, is asked to input the, uh, the five-digit zip code of his location, and then once he does that, the system goes and fetches the weather forecast for that place, right? Uh, and you can test this uh, right now, like just dial 617-652-0978, and then you will see, or, or here, in that case. And, uh, and also notice how, how this script is, is similar to any PHP code that you might, might already be familiar with, right? We, we don't expect people to have to, to spend hours or, or months in order to, to learn how to program our system. Hopefully, like a, a PHP programmer might be up and running with VoIP Drupal with like a half an hour or one hour after looking at our examples and so forth, right? In, in fact, this uh, scripting engine is, is so simple to be used 
that even though we started our research by focusing on the needs of underserved communities, there are many other applications of WebDrupal that might be relevant to other kinds of markets or, uh, and organizations. Right, so one for instance could use uh, WebDrupal to organize go out to vote campaigns or information hotlines, organize audio tours in your neighborhood using the telephone, right? Uh, voice based on surveys in the community. Language training by phone, interactive games, right? And interactivity to, to radio programs, all that stuff, right? And much more. So our imagination is kind of the limit, right? There's so much that can be done. With that. So that's all I had to say today. Uh, we are like uh, happy to answer any questions that you have after this presentation. And we're organizing a couple of POVs uh, tomorrow and, and on Thursday. Thanks so much. Woo! Excellent, thank you. The